Yes guys, as you can see Toyota Glanza Turbo uh, It's a 99 with some nice wheels And yes, uh, as you can see It is a Matic Don't hate on me <laughs> I was looking for a manual But I found this Matic one in pretty good condition The body is in good condition The engine is pretty good uh, when I bought the car, as you can see, I show you some pictures. It was, uh, it had a head gasket failure, a blown head gasket. So I bought the car without hearing it actually run. So I took a huge gamble on that, but it turns out to be pretty good car. Only problem that I have right now is that uh, the car seems to be using a lot of coolant. I think the radiator is not not good. It's really hot. So I bought two bottles of radiator fluid. The uh, aircon is working. Uh, this car used to be a manual. Uh, let me see. It used to be a manual car. It doesn't make sense to me why anybody would convert a manual car to a Matic car. But all I have to do is uh, look for a manual gearbox and that's it. Uh, the car is driving pretty good but as you can hear in the clips that i'm putting in um, it needs four wheel new bearings as far as i know but other than that yeah it's uh, pretty good i'm planning on doing a full forge build connection rods pistons bigger turbo um, bring it back to life and in the meantime i will drive it uh, carefully and uh yeah it's time to search for parts it's raining so i gotta get in it's raining but i gotta give you guys the startup and got a nice uh nice grady blower valve let me see i don't want to get wet or sick Uh, running really good the only problem I have right now is the, the car tend to run really high the temperature um, I put in some coolant this morning and the temperatures are good uh, but as, as far as I know the car is losing coolant from somewhere and if you put on the AC the temperature um, is spiking the peak that I had yesterday was uh, 100 and 108 degrees Celsius and yeah that's not good man I think that's the reason why the, uh, the car had a blown gasket in the first place but uh, as you guys know I'm a car enthusiast and I'm not gonna run this car too hard until I got uh, everything sorted out and I got a forge built and uh, maybe make it to a little race car man that's my plan and uh, yeah I had one <laughs> Ryan doesn't uh, he don't want to sell it to me <laughs> so I had to look for another one I made a mistake and I'm uh, you know from your from your mistakes you're uh, you're learning and I'm not gonna make this mistake again if it's broken then you know the car is just gonna sit in my in my garage or somewhere else until I fix it again but these cars are pretty rare man and you know <laughs> do you hear that that's crazy <laughs> put a smile on my face but yeah this, these cars are, uh, are rare man and you know I got a safe one it was my childhood dream and yeah you can't go wrong with this man so this is this is the review won't see this car too often maybe you'll see me drive but I won't vlog this car too often because the the search for parts is started most of the parts are coming from the UK uh, forged pistons forged rods um, wheel bearings head gasket uh, basically everything you can think of most likely is coming from the UK so 
yeah, it's gonna take a while, it's gonna take a lot of money, but you know, step by step we will get there. So stay tuned for the build.